It's in our nature to explore boundaries, to push the limits, to see just how fast we can go, how big we can build it, or how strong we can make it. And along the way, we're bound to encounter failure. But encountering failure doesn't mean that we've failed. Failure is how we learn. Failure is how we identify the boundary that separates what we can do now from what we hope to achieve. Technology is complex, and it's growing in complexity every day. We're breaking large applications into smaller services, distributing them across data centers around the world, and automating deployments to change their code dozens or even hundreds of times every day. The more complex a system is, the more prone it is to failure. But that failure also becomes harder to resolve because complex systems are more difficult to understand and reason about. Systems on their own are never going to be reliable. You can add tests to ensure that given some input, your code returns the desired output. But in a world where everything is dynamic, where your application's code is constantly changing, and your entire infrastructure is ephemeral due to the nature of cloud operations. The only way to make systems more resilient is by improving your understanding of your systems. Knowledge is the key to building better systems and quickly fixing them when they break. If failure is how we identify the boundary that separates what we can do now from what we hope to achieve, then innovation is the bridge that allows us to move from what we know we can do to accomplish the things we don't yet know how to do. And knowledge is how you build this bridge. So how do you gain knowledge? You use science. Science is the pursuit of knowledge based on a rigorous process of observation, hypothesis, experimentation, and data analysis. So what is chaos engineering? Chaos engineering is the practice of applying the scientific method to learn about our systems, with the ultimate goal of using our knowledge to build more reliable systems. You observe the system, make a hypothesis about how it will respond to failure, inject the failure, and collect data then analyze the data to improve your understanding. By improving your understanding, you become a better engineer and are able to improve your systems. In short, chaos engineering in four words. Build, fail, learn, repeat. Hey everyone, I'm Jason Yi. I've been an engineer and a software developer for over 20 years, and I'm passionate about helping others build and run reliable systems. I'll be posting more videos about chaos engineering, SRE, and DevOps topics. So if you share my interest in building and running reliable systems, click the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.